Hi, I'm Raj Garewal. I'm the Townsend Family Distinguished Professor of Marketing at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Uh, marketing papers have historically, academic marketing papers have historically influenced uh, industry practices. And I think uh, now, nowadays when academic uh, practitioner, academic collaborations are becoming more and more popular, they will continue to actually address the problems that the practitioners are, are, are facing. So to begin with, if you look at the historical perspective, uh, marketing academic papers focused on identifying needs and understanding customer needs. This need analysis was led to the, led to the use of or the development of conjoint analysis techniques. And there are about 50 plus conjoint analysis papers published in the Journal of Marketing Research. And conjoint analysis has become the staple for, uh, 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 for practitioners, for marketing researchers in practice to collect data. So this was a big influence that academics had on practice. Subsequent to assessing customer need, the focus became in marketing academia of linking these needs to customer behaviors. And, and customer satisfaction became the primary behavior that we looked at. Work of Rich Oliver, for example, tried to say how customer needs or satisfying customer needs is beneficial from a customer perspective. Subsequently, the focus shifted to linking customer needs uh, to firm value to better understand that if, if customers are valued by the firm, firms are better off. Firms earn more money and they become, and, and, and they have uh, more profitability, more market valuation. So, so historically, that, that is the trend which has happened. Subsequently, if you look at now, we're seeing, for example, one of the big trends is big data. Organizations have more data than they can, they can ever use. With this big data, uh, but the, most of the managers don't know how to utilize it to better inform their decisions. So marketing can come in by focusing the big data onto the customers. So that in addition to big data, we have deep and big insights as well, which can inform how we can develop customer-based strategies. Now, the last thing I want to say is that marketing, uh, that academic alliances between uh, marketing and academics and practitioners can be helpful where practitioners can share data with academics and then academics can use that data to not only inform practice, not only change practice, but also to build new knowledge. I have done that in my research and several people are doing that and I hope that that trend will continue. Uh, this is Raj Garewa from the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill.